everybody. This is Dan from Skype Happy Aerial Services. So today uh, we're gonna do a little bit demonstration of uh, prop balancing. So for this job we're going to do uh, balance the prop of Inspire One Pro and uh, what do we need for tools? We need uh, something called Dubro. See this is prop balancer. So this is assembled. It comes as a kit and it's just very easy to assemble and that's how it is and then you're going to need this kit comes with the rod the prop rod but uh, this particular rod wouldn't work with the uh, inspire propellers so you are going to need this type of rod and I'll put in a description down there and source the way you can get this rod and to take we need uh, this rod comes um, the way it comes assembled it works very well for the previous uh, version of Inspire 1, just the regular one with the, I think, S props. Uh, it would go directly, actually, it's round and it just fits directly on this. With the Inspire Pro, with these new locking T props, what we need to do, see the, this is a locking T prop. So, what we need to do is need to take the two screws out and then this is how it's gonna look. So once you take it off, look at this. You know, you can probably fit the other props on. So with the screws back, this is how it looks. So you take the the attachment part, the locking attachment, locking mechanism, and then take it. This is off. So you see the locking mechanism is off, but it's hooked up onto the prop. So the locking mechanism has the round hole. See the round hole that the uh, rod will come in. If you don't have the locking mechanism, see the T-prop comes with the hole like this, so this wouldn't fit on the rod. So this is the one, one extra step that you have to do with these uh, locking uh, props, the T-props. Okay, the hub that I took off, it's uh, with the one with the red. So all the red props, you do it first with the red hub. Now, the, I tried to put the white props, but it wouldn't fit on this. It looks like it's the opposite. So you have to take uh, the white hub to do all the white props. So this is, now we have this. We took the assembly mechanism. We locked the prop, put it in. It's the same thing. You lock it, and then you put it on the rod. And then you put it on this balancer. So essentially what you want to see is this situation. So you put it up like this straight. So this is a good prop. This one is already has been balanced. So it's pretty good, you know, I see it has the pendulum thing going on, if I put it in. So it's it's pretty good. So you do the same thing, you turn it the other way. So down going prop, same thing. So this is good, this is what you want to see. Once you, if you see a prop, you put it in, you start doing this. You have, one side is heavier. So if it starts going, then you have to see, usually the down going prop is heavier or, you know, you'll see which one, you just put it in balance it and see which one goes, starts moving. So if this side goes down, then you know you have to take care of this one. So same thing with the hub, you can do it like this. So this is the hub. So you, same thing, you want to see the balance like so. So it has to be, see it like it's going down. So there is a little bit of hub issue here. We have to deal. So anyways, it's very what you need to do is with the prop is essentially you need to do a little bit shaving. So I took uh, exact a knife, so I just shave it. Now you have to be super careful because remember, this is a wing. This is what creates a lift. So you have to be really careful how you work with the edges. Typically what I found with the DJI uh, props, these factory ones, is just the finishing. They have little, you know, little pieces of plastic that kind of sticking out here. So you just need to smooth it out. And by when you smooth it out, then they, they should be back in the balance. So essentially, you're just gonna do it like this, it's like a nice little shaving. So you just have to be careful not to ruin because this is your wing. This creates a lift. You don't want. You have to be nice and smooth. So I just do it this way, and then later on, you need uh, a little bit fine uh, um, paper, uh, probably 800 grit or finer. You know, just super fine sandpaper, and then just kind of smooth it out. That's what you need. So I take with the knife. I take some roughness. There's a piece of plastic and on a on a trailing edge of the of the wing of the prop. So you need to do the same thing. You shave off the plastic and then with the fine uh, sandpaper you sand, sand it and then that's how you work it and then you balance it again. So this is you saw what you know how it needs to be. So that's it for this time. See ya.